well, the situation may be terrible. We are expecting to have a um, terrible result in terms of olive oil, sorry, olive olive campaign uh, affecting lots of uh, uh, provinces in the south of Spain. We will be facing uh, challenging situations regarding access to water. So we have started in March and in April uh, different measures to be sure that in any uh, in any city in any rural area with uh, the inhabitants may have access to water but of course this impacts in the agriculture sector so we we have to come to cover this um, these effects in, the, in among farmers and finally we know that this means uh, having hot having heat in the um, in the central areas of the main cities so we adopted legislation to improve uh, um, the capacity of workers to resil to resilience uh, this means that uh, they should be stopping out of work uh, in the mean um, time during the day so to avoid the, um, the effects of uh, high temperatures on people uh, Minister, uh, this is Charlotte jumping in. Well, I'm flying myself to, to Spain, to Sevilla, where I think it's going to be 41 degrees, of course, because there is a general election in Spain uh, this weekend. Um, a lot of we see that the, the, the centre right, the opposition from the Partido Popular, is in the lead in the polls at the moment. Uh, in the regions where they won with uh, the, the alliance with the far right Vox, they've been rolling back a lot of the green policy that have been put in place usually by uh, the left bloc that you belong to. So, is this general election, to a certain extent, happening in the middle of a heat wave, a kind of a referendum on climate? Well, I don't know if it is a referendum, but they are trying to avoid discussing on climate, climate impact. So their main message is, don't worry about climate, this does not exist, or we, say, or we say nothing about climate. So to a certain extent, as you say, there may be many people understanding that uh, this could have such a huge impact on climate policies that uh, we need to take very seriously the sense um, of our vote, the direction of our votes. And uh, this is particularly important in the rural areas where they tend to say, uh, wait, they, they, we, we will not, um, we will not uh, enjoy climate change, so we will do nothing. We promise you more water and calm weather, which uh, does not exist, of course. So uh, I think that, yes, we need to be very serious and we are saying that be careful because you may be voting someone that does not care, does not understand and does not act on climate. And this is the worst case scenario for any citizen uh, in Spain.